All right, this is Second Ezra chapter nine. Let's see which one is it? It's verse twenty-two. All right. Let's see, but I'm gonna start at uh. I'm just going to read verse 22. All right. Well, I'm going to start. I'm going to read 21. It says, And I saw and spared it greatly and have kept me a and kept me a grape of the cluster and a plant of a great people. This is talking about the elect. All right. Then it says, uh, Let the multitude perish then which was born in vain and let my grape be kept in my plant. For with great labor have I made it perfect. All right. So I like it. Reading it all slow and in my bed but yeah that's what it was saying all right that, that uh he kept one he spared a grape all right meaning uh out of a cluster of grapes he kept one grape that one grape was signified a elect all right or if you had a whole cluster of grapes he kept a handful however you want to look at it all right he kept the elect the way he kept the elect separate from the two-thirds all right that's why let me go to jude um i think it's one not four is five it's Jude one and five it say um I will therefore put you in remembrance though ye once knew this how that the Lord having saved the people out of the land of Egypt afterward destroying them that believe not all right so that's why we can understand this the scriptures say uh I will stir up your pure remembrance all right so your how about smell shy it's supping with the elect all right That's why we have remembered who we are, all right? And the scripture tell you, uh, wisdom won't enter into a malicious soul, as we as we opened up with earlier, all right? So if you can understand this, you know what I'm saying? It's a good chance if you hold on to the end, you know, you you, you of the elect, all right? The scripture say, he that endures unto the end, all right, shall be saved, all right? So if you, if you can understand it and you got it now, you just gotta hold on and fight to the end. All right, let no man take thy crown. All right, because the times we finna hit, you know what I'm saying? It's finna be some some rocky times. Let me see what it say. Uh, a time like no other time, like never before. I think it's in Daniel. <clears throat> I'm going to read Matthew 24 and 21. It says, For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, nor ever shall be. All right, it's talking about Jacob's trouble. All right. It's that Jeremiah, I think it's 30 and 8. Oh, it's Jeremiah 30 and 7. So like it. It's Jeremiah 30 and 7. It says, at last, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. All right, now he that's being saved out of it is the elect, all right? Two-thirds of our people are going to be taken in Jacob's trouble, all right? Some of them going to make it to the end, all right, to eat a missile, but a lot of our people, all right, is going to get ready and, you know what I'm saying, be judged, right, during Jacob's trouble, all right? And we at Jacob's trouble right now. We're, lit, we're in Jacob's trouble right now, but we're going to hit all right, the the, the 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 apex of it. All right, the real part of Jacob's trouble is going to take off. All right, right now Esau is still, you know, what I'm saying, kind of, you know, what I'm saying, doing his little shit behind the scenes. All right, still laying his traps and shit, getting his shit set up. All right, he ain't just brought down hit holy hell on you, Jake shit. But this is his month. I mean, not his month. It's like this is his year to do it. All right, this is this is gonna be the year that Esau. All right, do your help, do uh, your help. Bashim Al Shai is gonna let it go on you, fucking two thirds. All right, head up also to hard coin this year, the year of hastening the day of your how Bashim Al All right, and and your how Bashim Al Shai ain't coming back until all of this trouble and this devastation takes place first. All right, you know what I'm saying? It's the scriptures say the elect shall uh shall verily be saved. All right. saying we're gonna see all of this shit go down all right hey but 
I'm I'm excited to see it. All right, the scriptures say, uh, many many uh wise men have desired to see the things in which it is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, by some is gonna show us. All right, this is Luke 10 and 24. I'm gonna read that. He say, for I tell you that many prophets and kings have desired to see those things which ye see and have not seen them, and to hear those things which ye hear and have not heard them. All right. And that's because at that time it wasn't time for them to, to, to get it right then, all right? We were those prophets. If we be those men today, we were those men back then, but it wasn't given to us to understand everything the way we understand it now back then, all right? Because it wasn't the end time, all right? If that makes sense, all right? It's another precept. Uh, I think it's Matthew 13 and 17. It's kind of saying the same thing. It say, uh, for verily I say unto you that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which ye see and have not seen them, and to hear those things which ye hear and have not heard them. All right, so it's, you know what I'm saying, basically the same thing, all right? Seventeen. All right, I'm gonna start at uh verse six. All right, it say, um, I have manifested thy name unto the men which to the men which thou gavest me out of the world. Thine they were, and thou gavest them me, and they kept thy word. This is talking about the elect. All right. You see, uh, now that they now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee, all right? For I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me, and they have received them. Let me see. And have known surely that I came out from thee, and they have believed that thou didst send me. All right, this is the elect, all right? I pray for them, I pray not for the world, but for them which thou givest me, for they are thine, all right? This is the world of Israel, all right? Yahweh Bashmah was shy is only, only coming back for the elect, all right? That elect world of Israel, all right? all right? The only ones he ever sent, all right? Those are the only ones he ever loved from the beginning of the foundation of the earth anyway. They say, and all mine are thine, and thine are mine, and I am glorified in them, all right? <clears throat> Jump down to 14. It say, I have given them thy word, and the world hated them. And the world had hated them because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. All right? So the, the elect is not like these other jakes, all right? It say, I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but thou shouldest keep them from the evil. All right? It say, they, not, let me see, they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. All right? So... Man, that's heavy right there, all right? Yeah, how about some other shot loves his elect, all right? Let me see. Uh, you say, and thou hast sent me into the world, even so have I also sent them into the world. And for their sakes I sanctify myself, that they also might be sanctified through the truth, all right? The truth of the Bible, all right? The real scriptures, all right? The real gospel, all right? Neither pray... I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word, all right? So this is talking about the one-third, all right? Those who aren't necessarily the prophets, all right? All right, they could be the helps, all right? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Just those who ain't necessarily prophets, so to speak, all right? But they're still loved, all right? Because they believe on the prophets, all right? They help the prophets, all right? They're part of the body as well, all right? Verse 21, it says that they... All may be one as thou, Father, art in me, and I in thee, that they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that thou hast sent me. You see, in the glory which thou gavest me, I have given them, that they may be one, even as we are one. All right? So, how about Shemel Shot only loves the elect, all right? And the elect were given to you, how to you, how was shot by your how, all right? That's why I say, uh, 
My father, uh, I mean, uh, my father gave them to me. All right, no man can pluck them out of my hand. All right, so like y'all was looking at this damn bee. All right. All right, this is John 10 and 28. It say, and I give unto them eternal life and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My father which gave them me is greater than all and no man is able to pluck them out of my father's hand. All right, so that's what I was trying to say a while ago. I was stumbling over my words when I said it, so like, but yeah, the lick were given to Yahweh Shai.